Welcome back guys, my name is Brian, this is Beard Guy Bry. In this channel I take you along my uh, beard growing journey and do some uh, product reviews and stuff and uh, that's what I got for you here today. I'm doing a uh, product review here of a new Canadian company that I've checked out, or it's not a new company but new to me, um, and it's uh, Mammoth Beard Co. here um, out of Calgary. So I ended up finding these guys online, uh, I think honestly just by googling Canadian beard company and they're one of the few uh, that are on there. So figured I'd uh, pick up some stuff from them and see uh, see if it's any good. So according to their website, uh, if you go check it out, it's mammothbeard.ca, I believe. Um, it is uh, just a small family-run business, uh, a couple that have been uh, making beard oil or beard products since I think they said 2013 or 2014. Um, so they seem to have a lot of experience with doing this, and, um, and it shows. With the products that I've picked up, um, honestly, I, I pretty much love all of it. Um, so I'm going to get into it here and uh, show you what I got. So after watching this video, if you like it, throw a like down below and comment if you've uh, tried this stuff out before. And if you're new here and you haven't yet already, please uh, hit subscribe and make sure to hit the uh, little bell notifier there so you get notified when I put up new videos. I'll be doing this about once a week or so. So first I'm going to show you here how the package arrived. Um, it's little things like this that uh, I like here. Um, they have this cool package here. So it's got the little mammoth logo on that side. Little picture of the mammoth there and it sits all the way around. Um, I don't know, little customizable things like that I, I really like. Um, and when you cracked open the box here, the one thing as well I really like is they are using uh, like all recyclable uh, packaging materials there. Everything is all paper, cardboard, you know, it's no plastic, uh, plastic packaging and stuff. So I like to try to, you know, support businesses that are trying to be eco-friendly and, you know, there's no point in just wasting all this plastic you know, you're just going to throw out. Anyway, so you crack open the box here. Um, first thing uh, I noticed they got, like everybody else here, you get the uh, nice mammoth uh, stickers here. So that one, and then this guy here. And they also get this little uh, thank you card here. Mammoth, and then thank you for supporting a family-run business. It's really nice. And they also get a little, uh, this is a little maple candy or something here. So I'll crack that open and have that later. So I picked up a few things from them, uh, obviously got the hat here, um, we got a uh, six pack, kind of a tester of their uh, beard oils, and then also a beard balm. Uh, another cool thing that I really liked about their uh, packaging is when I got the uh, the tester kit, uh, it came in this cool little burlap sack here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got mammoth stamped on it, and this thing was all, you know, packed up real tight there with, with the packaging inside, and it looks really cool. So that was, that was a pretty little, uh, neat little touch there. So I picked up their Argon Beard Oil Tester Kit. Uh, it comes with six six different scents. They also have a uh, hazelnut and hemp oil, if I remember correctly. Um, and they all, you can also get that in the six pack here. But there are these, uh, these here. If I can get that to focus. So that's a 10 milliliter uh, bottle there. So it's about a third of an ounce. And uh, you get six of these. It's your, uh, a nice dropper bottle here, if I can pull that up. It's a nice, you know, a nice amber color oil there. And the uh, the six scents that came with it here, so I've got the one called Devil's Reserve, I've got Original Cedarwood, there's Cedar and Mint, Rocky Mountain Pioneer, Sex and Cigars, and Tobacco and Rosewood. Now, <clears throat> I gotta tell you, of all these uh, scents, there's there's really not one that I that I dislike. Um, they're really really good. Clearly the the couple here who are making these scents really know how to make blends really well. They've been doing this for a long time. Um, it, the blends are like very subtle but deep, and there's I don't know. It's uh, it's really nice. Their argon oil here is uh, made out of argan oil, jojoba seed oil, and hemp seed oil. And um, the the normal bottles, like the full size ones, you can get them in 30 mil or 60 mil. So it's one or two ounces. And uh, I believe the 30 mil, so the one ounce is about 24.99 Canadian, and the two ounces, what 39 or 38 Canadian. Um, these obviously those smaller guys here. The Devil's Reserve scent um, is uh, exotic champaca. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, sweet vanilla bourbon and sandalwood. This one's a really, really nice, uh, this, you know, layered, deep smell. This is really nice, and that little bit of almost vanilla popping out there as well. And they also have uh, cedar and mint, which, I mean, pretty self-explanatory there. That's, uh, come on. There it is, cedar and mint. 
So we crack this. This is a really, really fresh scent. Uh, it's really nice. Um, I, mean, I don't know what more to say. It's cedar and mint. <laughs> it's pretty perfect. And then there's also a little bit of a hint of vanilla in there as well. Um, the original cedar woods. Um, this one, it definitely, I mean, it's definitely cedar wood. Uh, it's a little more subtle than um, the Rocky Mountain Barbaco uh, cedar wood uh, oil that they have. Theirs is very strong. Um, almost smells like you're sitting inside of a, a lumber mill. So the original cedar wood here has uh, basically cedar wood and rosemary. So I think it, it kind of makes it a little bit more subtle, but it, it's still really nice. It's got a very nice woodsy, uh, woody smell on that one. I think a lot of people will like that. Now, Sex and Cigars. Um, this one, they have a little write-up on their website about it, how they were telling their friends they're going to try and make something that smells like Sex and Cigars and, uh, and apparently got laughed at. Um, this is an interesting smell. I mean, it's a pretty good description, I guess. You can get some tobacco smell in there. Um, it's kind of a musky, um, but it's 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 nice. It's uh, again, a really nice one. I like this one as well. So the uh, tobacco and rosewood, um, definitely I think a little a little harder on the rosewood scent. Um, it's, it's again, it's really nice. Um, I feel like I'm just being very repetitive here with everything, but uh, there's really nothing I dislike about these scents. Um, this is why I'm glad with a lot of these companies I like to pick up the testers um, just to see, because I mean, for the money, sure, it might be a little bit more expensive or, or it looks more expensive because I think the six pack of the testers was 69 bucks. Um, but it's a third of the size of a regular bottle, which is what, 29? Um, yeah, 25 bucks. So you're getting a good good amount of testers here. So you're basically getting two um, two bottles or two ounces of all the different scents. So honestly, I think it's a great idea. I did it with Artius Man. I did it with these guys um, and a couple other companies as well. And I just, it's a great way to test out all the different products and see what you like. And then, you know, when you're ready to go and purchase it. Um, but, you know, gives you all the options of, of testing out something different every night. And, you know, 10 mils, it doesn't seem like much, but this, this actually lasts you quite a while. Um, I haven't really run out of any of the Artius Man testers or um, uh, Beard Octane is one of the other companies I picked up, and, and they're really good. These guys I've been using for a few weeks now, and, you know, I'm just going bouncing from one to the other, and I really, really like them. So the last of the testers was the Rocky Mountain Pioneer, um, and they describe it as a rich balsamic blend. Uh, reminiscent of tree sap, campfire, and worn leather. And uh, it definitely smelled a tree sap. Um, the campfire is a little subtle in there, but it's really nice as well. Um, this this one is one of my favorites. I do like this. Um, honestly, I think you guys, if you tested out any of these products, you're, you're probably going to fall in love with all the scents. Uh, they're really, really nice. Um, and what I'm finding now, the more I'm testing out products from different companies, you can you can really tell, I guess, the experience or how long people have been putting these scents together. Some companies, um, the, the scents tend to be a little sharp um, and it kind of hurts to breathe. <laughs> um, I described in another video where I was saying, you know, when I was younger, I used to never like going down the, um, the laundry soap aisle in the grocery store because it would just like overwhelm me with scents. Um, and I, I just couldn't it feel like you couldn't breathe, basically couldn't catch your breath. Um, and some beard oils do that to me too. Um, now I haven't quite figured out yet if that is just a certain scent in the beard oils, but I think it's probably the person who's making them is putting too much of the essential oils in there and it's just becoming overpowering. Whether or not that's the case, I don't know. That's just my experience, I think. These guys are awesome. Uh, I like everything, uh, every one of these scents. I definitely suggest you check them out. So along with the tester kit, I also picked up a uh, their Legends uh, Limited Edition Beard Balm. Pull that in there. Come on. There it is. So this one is a uh, real nice beard balm here. It's got a really nice smell. Um, let's see if I've uh, got a description here on the back. Uh, it says, our beard balm is an ultra-nourishing blend of ethically sourced unbleached shea butter, local beeswax, nourishing or, uh, argon, and jojoba oils. Uh, it offers protection from harsh elements with medium hold and shine. 
Um, and it really does have the nice hold and the shine. It's not too, too hard. Um, I've kind of been steering away from beard balms that, that do give you kind of that shell look on your beard, but this one, it does, it, it's, um, it's a little more subtle. It's a little, you do definitely get the shine. Um, and then the beard, it has the hold, but it's not, you know, it's not rock hard or anything. Um, it looks really, really nice. Um, basically just say, scrape a small amount, uh, warm up, you know, emulsify in your hands and, and use it. Um, I've been using about, I don't know, about a thumbnail's worth when I put it in. Sometimes I'll go with a little bit more. Um, and uh, the ingredients in this one are argan oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, beeswax, and essential oil blend that they've made. Um, I really like this one. This one is a uh, limited edition. Um, the bomb is 30 bucks, and this is, what, 51 grams? And also, the last thing I got in there as well was the hat. Um, I saw this. They have this hat in a couple different uh, colors. They have, I think, uh, it's like an orange and black, and then this kind of brown uh, color here. Uh, the hat was uh, normally 29 bucks. I think it's now on sale for 20 um, They have a really awesome um, kind of like merch uh, section of the website there. You got t-shirts, um, bottle openers, uh, beard scissors, all kinds of really cool stuff in there. Some really nice shirts. Uh, there was one I really wanted to get, which has uh, a big mammoth logo with Canadian flag on it. Kind of looks almost like the the Jagger logo, um, but uh, it's sold out in the size of one, so it kind of sucks. But uh, definitely check them out. Um, again, this video is not an ad or anything. I bought all this stuff myself. I, uh, I'm just, you know, experimenting with different companies. In times like this, you know, with COVID going on and, you know, everyone's struggling to keep at work and keep going, I want to keep, you know, helping out these small businesses, especially, you know, relatively local here, being from Vancouver, they're from Calgary, uh, try to, you know, keep money into the local businesses if you can. But that's about everything I got for you on this one here. Um, I definitely love this stuff. Um, I can't wait to try more of their products. I highly suggest you guys check them out. Um, their website is mammothbeard.ca. Uh, they have free shipping over, I think, 50 bucks in Canada, and there's some other other deals in there as well. There's some stuff on sale right now. Uh, definitely check them out. Uh, if you have tried these guys before or have any other uh, companies you think I should check out, uh, throw a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button there. And if you haven't already, please also subscribe as well as hit the uh, bell notifier so you get notified when I put out another video. I'll be doing these about once a week or so. Uh, but that's everything I got for you here today. This is Beer Guy Brian. Talk to you later.